Hey everyone, this is Tom. I'm back with another quick video talking about an important problem solving approach called the five whys analysis. Before I dive into the five whys, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you're notified when we upload tools in the future. Let's dive into the five whys exercise. As I mentioned at the kickoff, the five whys is a common problem solving method that helps teams and organizations study the problem in order to arrive at the root cause issue. Using the five whys, a team will start by defining a problem, oftentimes articulating it in the form of a problem statement. With that problem statement in mind, the team will go to the Gemba, observe the process, observe the problem, and collect data that is readily available to better understand the problem They'll want to dive deep onto the particular occurrence of the problem. With that occurrence in mind, the team will ask the initial exploration question of why. Based on the answer to that first question, the team will then repeat that question multiple times until they arrive at the root cause issue. There are many reasons to like the five whys analysis. One of the first reasons to get behind it is that it's a very simple evidence-based approach to determine the root cause of an issue. It's very collaborative and engages the people who do the work in improving the work. It goes beyond just identifying symptoms and tries to understand what the root cause issue is. Targeting solutions at this root cause issue will eliminate the issue for good within the organization's systems and processes. As you engage people in the five whys process and seek their input and in problem solving, you're laying the groundwork for a culture that is committed to continuously improving and creating a culture of problem solvers. Teaching five whys analysis to your operators is an important investment in your organization. Earlier, as I talked about the tool, I talked about the process of completing the five whys exercise. To revisit that, the first step is to form a team. The second is to identify a problem, stating it in the form of a problem statement. To then have the team go observe the process observe the problem firsthand, oftentimes by completing the Gemba, and collecting data about the problem. With that information and with that problem defined, the team will then ask that first exploratory question of why, and then based on that answer, they'll continue to iterate asking why until the root cause issue is known. With that root cause issue in mind, they'll then begin to target solutions addressing that root cause issue and solving the problem. If your organization is not currently applying the five whys approach to analyzing your problems and addressing root cause issues, I'd strongly encourage you to teach this method to your operators and to facilitate this way of thinking within your organization. If you don't have a tool and template, I'd encourage you to download one from our website and to begin using it within your organization. I hope you found value in this video. I'd love to hear in the comments how you are currently using the five whys analysis or how you plan to be using the five whys analysis within your organization. As always, thanks for nerding out with us.